SVG Book Club, it's Julesy and it is the month of June. Ah, it, it feels like somehow like, wow, it's already June, but also feels like, wow, it took so long to get here. This somehow feels like the longest, shortest, most hectic month ever. And I mean, really, truly, honestly, honestly, truly, it's really just a hectic time. We've, I've long been talking about having this sea of sadness, of grief that surrounds us, but now there's this extra added layer of like urgency that a lot of us are feeling. And I wanted to acknowledge that I hope that every last one of you is taking the space, the time, the care, you treating yourself different, treating yourself kindly, doing what you need to do to self-preserve, to keep your sanity, to keep your peace in these very, very hectic times. I know it's hard and it might be out of the reach for quite a few of us, but we are acknowledging that in this stressful time period, it might be harder for some of you to get through the reading. Foundationally, the SBG Book Club is built with the understanding that reading is a privilege. We have never approached reading as though this is something that everyone simply will have access to. We are never going to just throw a book at you and tell you that you need to read it to educate yourself, to unlearn, to radicalize, to whatever output people are claiming you should get through the immediacy of reading. Reading as education, reading as information, reading as building a foundation of new knowledge is predicated on a dialogical education, an ability to have access to a community where you can not only read the book, comprehend and understand the book, but also have a dialogue that allows you to synthesize the things that you have read and build upon the knowledge that you have accumulated. And so we approach the book club with that understanding, one, that reading is a privilege, having the mental capacity to read, having the space and environment to and the time to set aside to read is a privilege. Having an access, whether financially, whether via a library, whatever the means are to procure these various readings is a privilege. Having access to an intellectual community that can dialogue with you about these books is absolutely a community. And we've understand, we understand how much of it's absolutely a privilege and we understand how many privileges undergird one's ability to read, to comprehend, to consume and build upon their knowledge, to curate new knowledge is necessitated when we talk about, especially in this time period where some people are talking about these radical theory books that they suggest you should read. We understand the privileges that undergird that. And so that's how we've always looked at the SBG book club. So I am absolutely asking you all to trust the process, to trust the book club, to trust the thought and curation that we've put in to these book lists because I am a person who has long talked about the fact that I knew we were headed towards what I would term as certain violence. I've talked about how we are all one medical emergency away from poverty and so you know I might say those things in jest but I absolutely understand the implications of what our material realities are, how our various lived experiences might um, impact our ability to engage in this book club and so that's one reason why we have curated the book club as an evergreen book club. You can stop and start, you can go back and read things that we've read previously. We are always welcome to dialogue about it. You are always welcome to post about it. We are always here to engage upon any of the readings that we have selected within the book club. But also that our all the books that we have chosen in this book club build upon a political education that has largely been kept up in the bounds of academic institutions and higher learning that are often inaccessible to the black community and particularly to the black women that many of these books address. Aha, right? Why you might have this urgency and by all means if you have the means to Absolutely, go read Pedagogy of the Press, Wretched of the Earth, Our Prisons Obsolete, What Is It, Women, Race, and Class by Angela Davis. Go ahead and take upon these readings and if there's other book clubs that are curating these readings, by all means participate in that. We in the SBG Book Club are building out a foundation that will sustain you. And also because we understood that the times like this were in the very near future and there were gonna be more questions than just the politics of abolishing the police, right? There's all these other principles that go into getting to that point. One of the things that we understand coming out of this weekend, particularly around the protests and the uptick in really, really heartfelt frustrations and emotions that are running through these protests and riots is who is organizing? What role do I 
as a member of my community have in this organizing? What role do I want to take in the organizing? How do we push whatever members of our community are organizing? How do we push these organizations into curating organizations and curating movements that really look out for all members of the community? Right? Which is why our May general track reading, Hood Feminism, is such a pivotal it's such a pivotal read. Notes from the women that a movement forgot. It really brings to mind a lot of the questions and conversations that are likely to come out of this past weekend's protesting. And we have Mickey Kendall joining the book club for an author chat on June 10th. We really, really, really would like for you to join. We, we know this is gonna be a very important conversation. We just ask that you please submit your questions. There will be a form posted in the description, either down below or up above, depending on what medium and platform you're watching on. Please submit your questions this week so we can curate that conversation for Mickey Kendall and that she too can be well prepared to answer any and all of your questions. We are still gonna move forward with addressing our readings as the May general track read June, da 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 da. But obviously we're doing, for May reading, we're doing a author chat in the second week of June. So we're gonna take our time. We still have some live discussions that we need to wrap up to finish out uh, this book. And uh, we'll probably keep going throughout June with discussing this book, even as we move into our June general track read, The Women of Brewster Place. The syllabus is now available for purchase and on the Insider Dashboard for downloads. This might seem like, oh, it's a fiction book. It's not the radical liberation theology that I wanna read. Again, I'm reminding you, those books are very, very dense and they're not really accessible to a broad range of people to read on their own without the story, especially like Puello Ferrer's Pedagogy of the Oppressed taught so much about the importance of a dialogical education. That book inspired a lot of the ways in which we approach this book club. We're, we're providing the points of entry that make this sort of liberation, radical liberation theology more accessible to you by reading a book like Women of Brewster Place. Now you might think oh, so it's a fiction book, it was made into an ABC like television movie starring Oprah Winfrey, but this book really talks about the necessity of community, the necessity of different ideas of lived experiences, different perspectives, the way in which we may think that we're coming in to do good in our community, but we actually need to hear and see the people that live in our community first. And it's, it's just such a great read that will inspire so many elements of our lives as we live through this like very historical period that we were in. So please, I hope you do join us in reading The Woman of Brewster Place. It's a super easy, super enjoyable read and it's gonna be a great discussion. And we're planning on doing a watch party together to watch The Woman of Brewster Place and have a great dialogue around it. It'll be a great time. All right, on the complex theory track, we are still working our way through the four chapters that we have selected for black feminist thought. Again, this might not seem like the on the nose liberation theory that you think you need to be reading right now, but we're, we started off with chapters 11 and 12. We still need to finish our discussions for chapter 12. Upcoming, I gotta get it together with the cohort. This is all on me here. But Dr. Collins talks about curating new knowledge and again, as we look at these protests and we come out asking who's organizing, we also have to think about what societal changes do we actually want to push for? What do we want to ensure as we go through this period of change? What do we want to show we come out on the other side with? And this definitely talks about the ways in which we can curate new knowledge out of communities that have often been left from the epistemological process of curating new knowledge. We have black women, and we can also parse this out because this book was written in the early 90s, but now in 2020, the queer community, the non-binary folks, the disabled and differently abled community, how all these various structures of the black community have been erased, the black community as a whole has been erased from the canon of new knowledge, the epistemological process that comes out of the institutions of higher learning that says this is how we should think about things, this is intellectual, this is knowledge, and how we can look to our community, again looking at the lived experiences, how do we interrogate somebody's knowledge and someone's goals and morals and ethics in the information that they're putting out to the community. Dr. Collins addresses all of this and it's a very important read. We're gonna finish up the first section of chapter 11 and 12 with our discussions on chapter 12 and for the rest of June the syllabus on chapter 1 and 2 will be available later this week and we're going to move into that discussion and it'll be a great time. I promise you we are building out a foundation. We are making sure that this knowledge is able to stick 
that you, we're not telling you how to think, we're not telling you how to live, we're giving you the tools to be able to come to your own determinations, to be able to synthesize your own praxis and your own theory that you would like to implement, and the ways in which you can turn to your community and continue these dialogues and continue this synthesis of new knowledge and of curating what is really gonna be this, this cultural shift that we are going through. Now, one of the insider perks, and I wanna thank everyone who has donated to the book club. We now have a donate donation button on the front page. We're gonna start pushing that a little bit more because we really are trying to provide something very important to the black community. And we don't know that there are other book clubs doing what we are doing. And so it's really important that we get the word out. Please post your badge, share the word, let folks know that you are participating in this book club. Let folks know your thoughts on this book club. Are you enjoying it? Thank you to everyone who is an insider and everyone who has purchased one of our bookmarks and has purchased a syllabus or the syllabi. Every way in which you have given any financial means to the book club has helped us to be able to curate and uh, provide projects that make curate products that make the readings more accessible. We are definitely trying to work through uh, curating a uh, a visual project that starts to work into some more of these radical theory books that are being discussed heavily on social media now that we know are dense, but we want to be able to get it out to you in an ethical manner and really make sure that the, the knowledge that comes with these books is being ethically curated and disseminated to a broader audience. So we're working on that, but all those sort of things take funding. So thank you to everyone who has supported us. But one of the perks for insiders is that they get to know all the upcoming reads that we have. So we have most of our general track reads and quite a few of our complex theory reads planned out through November. And I mean, we like I we don't have to rethink any of this because everything is on time. Like I, I really thought through what was happening in this country when I looked back at this in January. And I mean, we're, we're doing we're laying the foundation. We're getting everything together. So please just trust our process. And I hope whenever you can join that you do join and engage. But again, the perk is that we let them know ahead of time. But I'm going to let the general audience here slide in because I'm very excited about the next general track read that we're going to be getting in, into in late June, early July, which is All About Love by Bell Hooks. This book will drag you, drag your edges. I know people are having a delay with getting their book, so go ahead and order this. You see my little notepads? I'm halfway through, getting my whole life. I know we want to read about the politics. We want to read about the uprisings. We want to read about how history has preceded us. And by all means, do that, ingest that. But we also need to be thinking about our emotional attachment to each other, our commitments to each other, our commitments to ourselves, our commitment to love, to kindness, to empathy, and to consideration. There's a lot of performative things happening on this bandwagon right now. A lot of people in this for the quaint, all right? And not really in it for the people. And so we've really thought through these readings that will address the ways in which we are committed to the integrity of our community, to the integrity of liberation and what that actually looks like. And this book is just a great read because it, it'll, it'll, it'll impact so many aspects of your life and how we really think about our familial connections, our community connections, our friendships, our own valuation of ourselves, of the love that lives within us, of the love that we give to ourselves. So I wanted to go ahead and let y'all know that this is upcoming. Please jo 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 join in. We have thought about everything, you know. We are we are we 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 pick these reads with the most with the utmost of thoughtfulness. Also, to acknowledge that people that are having a hard time with reading right now because of all the stress, I have been going through really bad anxiety. I've talked about it so much since last year, right? My world fell apart way before the actual world fell apart. And so I've been finding different ways to really sit down because as the, you know, the founder of this book club, I got to read ahead of time for, for y'all. And one of the things that has absolutely helped me through this high level of stress is putting on a Spotify or Apple Music playlist. And I use Spotify and I literally search reading playlists and there's quite a few that um, play reading music. So reading music is typically any, so you could like do like blue jazz, smooth jazz, the uh, Pixar movie Up, the soundtrack from that uh, is a really good soundtrack to listen to reading. And it actually helps you to focus. It puts you in a Zen realm that you can not only, cause sometimes I can read and not remember anything that I've read because I'm just reading words and I'm not really ingesting it but playing music in the background no lyrics you know not too much like improvised music doesn't really help but music that has like a schematic you know four 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 count that has a nice rhythm to it typically helps me to focus 
and read and comprehend what I'm reading. Also, don't think that you have to sit down and read for hours on end. If you can commit to reading 15 minutes a day, you're doing amazing, okay? That's literally all it takes. Fif 15 minutes of I'm gonna sit down and read. And oftentimes, once you get into something that you truly enjoy, and every book we read in this book club you might not like, and you're not you're not committed to having to read every book that we read. You know, you might stop and start, you might come back to things, different things might take off, right? Like for me, with reading Black Feminist Thought, it's been in, in parts, right? Because different things, like something will happen to me, oh, I remember reading this in this book, and I'll go back to it, right? And I'll come back to it, and I'll delve into it more. And so different folks have different things going on in their lives and so you're going to approach every reading differently and you're, you're not indebted to read everything but just give yourself 15 minutes so at least sit down cut off all the other distractions don't be on your phone you can play you some music in the background sit down and focus to read that's how you start to begin we really have thought about these books and i promise you everything we're reading is is impactful to the lives that you are currently living so we really appreciate everyone who's enjoyed and engaged we look forward to seeing you next thursday on june 10th when we have our author chat with mickey kindle please open your newsletters we're going to try a different format with the newsletters part of the problem we've had with the readership is it's low but also a lot of our emails are ending up particularly if you use gmail in your promotions tab so if you're checking your email from a desktop or like the gmail um, phone app or whatever mail app email app you use on your phone you might not be seeing our email come into your inbox because we use so many pictures and we condense the newsletter to sending it out about once a week we put a lot of links a lot of information in one newsletter and we're going to pivot towards sending out the newsletter more frequently and making it more text heavy so it doesn't to try to curb it ending up in the promotions tab but one way you can alleviate that problem yourself is to add smart brown girls that's smart brown girl plural smart brown girls at gmail.com to your contact list to ensure that it ends up in your primary inbox and you can see our emails we put a lot of pertinent information in that email it's our easiest way to disseminate information to get it out to you guys without requiring that everyone log into facebook and also if you're not already please follow us on instagram we are trying to get our instagram followers up so we can unlock some of the features and again make everything that we're doing accessible to a broader audience don't forget to post and share your badge be a member of the book club with pride let the folks know your thoughts and it's okay any good bad in between feedback let us know we would love to hear from you if there's more that you would like to see us do please let us know we can we're gonna start working on some funding projects to really drive up the funding for this book club so we can get more done for the community but you know it's a community project so we definitely want to hear from you all and we appreciate everyone who has already joined everyone who has spread the word everyone who has tagged us purchased a syllabi bought a bookmark is an insider member who posts comments who joined the live discussions who ask questions who let us know when things aren't working we appreciate every last one of you we are really about the solidarity of community we are really about building and engaging a community and always remembering that reading is a privilege and in order to make reading accessible to everyone we have to be mindful of the different walks of life that people are coming into this community from so thank y'all happy reading and i'll see ya i'll see y'all in the live chat this is